So I'm out in the new kit. So it's good kit this. It's nice. It is, as the Doily Burger said though. Um, a summer kit. It's got plenty of ventilation holes. It's quite thin. But yeah, we're right on it. So we've christened it and we've done two miles so far, that's all. But just heading out, get some done outside. Um, the pockets are good on the jersey. The camera fits in nicely, comes out nicely. Nice and big and wide and deep, which is great. Yeah, I like it so far. Not going to do 100 miles on it just yet. We'll do 50 first. So as I've said, 100 miles is planned on Sunday. Mid Wales, Paris, that sort of area. Um, I'll be using the Team CLS kit because I've done several 100s on that. So I must film my three month review with my Sirocco K3s because a lot of people slag them I've had no issues, I like them but as I say I'll, I must film that and talk about the glasses I did think it was going to rain earlier because there's some big clouds big dark grey clouds but it hasn't so right, head out, get this done, see you in a bit. Well, I didn't film much because I've been pushing and I've done it. I've cracked 20 mile an hour for my ride. So I've done 45 kilometers, 20.4 miles an hour. Yeah, first time I've done that in a long time on a road bike. Yeah, you can do it on a time trial bike with TT bars and stuff. Road bike, drop bars, hilly route, 20.4. That's what I mean, you see. So I'm going well on the road, but turbo, that FTP test, the ramp test, it's sat down, and of course on the road I'm standing up and stuff, different muscles. Right, see you later. Hi everyone, back again Thursday. Yeah, it's Thursday today, I lose track of days, don't I? So it's the 8th of August today, Thursday, and we've got a cup of coffee, so cheers. Got an unboxing to do in a minute. But, before I do, so yesterday I did the draw for the 800 prize giveaway competition. A week yesterday, I put up the competition prize and vlog asking you to comment. One of the comments from, just bear with me, um, John T. Stevens. So John T. Stevens, thank you for your comment, mate. So you said to me, I'm going to have to read it, so I'm just looking this way. 
Good evening Duncan, great video as always. I understand we aren't required to ask you a question for the giveaway this time round, but I have one anyway. I often try to avoid B-rolls due to the increased frequency of potholes, poor road surface, tall hedgerows and, and the like. As such I tend to stick to main roads. I'm wondering if there was a particular air road that you've ridden that you'd recommend to others to visit. Mine is the A591 from Windermere to Ambleside. Keep up the good work. So, Thanks John T. Um, I did try and reply to your question on YouTube but when I clicked on it, it dis the question disappeared. It wasn't available for me to comment on as a question, as a comment. So don't know why that was. That's why I'm deliberately doing it like this in the vlog. So I'm going to break this into two parts. I'm going to say an air road near me, near where I live, and I'm going to say two little bits of air road. So one is the A444, sort of from just the other side of Nuneaton up towards Twycross, that sort of way. That can be okay. And again, like all the air roads, it depends on the time of day and day of the week and all that sort of thing. But when I tend to use it, it's not too bad. It's fairly quiet, reasonable. reasonable. You do get trucks on it, you do get traffic, but it's not too bad. And the other one is the A452, so from the roundabout at the bottom end of um, the A45, I'm just trying to think what it's called, so it's Stonebridge Island, I know it as, the bottom of um, the road coming in from Meriden, dual carriageway going down to, towards Borsal Common, that's the A452, through Borsal Common and then out the other side towards Five Ways Roundabout near Honnelly. That is all quite reasonable. The reason I'm getting confused is because the air road number changes in that position, in that in that area. So it goes from the A452, and then it goes into the A4177, and then the other one. I'll just have to look it up again. Is the A487? So if you're in Pembrokeshire and you want to go between Fishguard and St David's, that's a good road. I quite like that air road. So again, depends where the traffic is, doesn't it? So that's an air road, not too busy. Good views. Can be narrow though, but again, it's, it's okay down there. So the F487 is my best one. Right, let's move on to the unboxing now. So, there we go. Unboxing. Can you see me? Right, let's just get something to do this with. Get my knife again. Pen knife. This is an Asda pen knife, this. Well, a draper from Asda. I got this. <laughs> this is cycling related. So I bought this pen knife from the Asda next door to Manchester Velodrome when we went up to see the World Championships at Manchester Velodrome when Chris Hoy and Bradley Wiggins and all those sorts of people got all their gold medals. And we've got a signed photograph from him somewhere, or a signed poster on the wall in one of the kids' rooms, I think. I would guess this is going back to... It's got to be 2008. That sort of era. Right. So it's good, good to see that more and more companies are using paper for packing. Just brown paper. So we've got a new S SIS shaker bottle. Because I thought my, my Hi5 one's getting a bit tatty. I've had it a long time, I thought I'd buy a new one. I said buy a new one. I thought I would get a new one. Now, SIS have got a new product that they've launched and one of my cyclist friends that I know, Duathlon Girl, or Debbie Bradley, um, is sponsored by SIS and she did a post this week announcing or telling me about the new plant-based range that SIS have just launched. 
So I went onto SIS's website and I ordered the introductory pack, which is this, and you can have it in different flavours. This is mint chocolate. That and what is in this box. So we've got a box in a box. And then let's get in this one. I'm going to find where we can get in it. So yeah, it was an introductory pack. Um, I've got an introductory offer for signing up to um, SIS's online shop. I think I've got £20 off. I paid £10.999 for next day delivery for the year. Which didn't happen. They cocked it up, so I've got a £5 voucher. So, um, I'm not sure what it cost me. Because there's not an invoice in the box. Just bear with me, I'll lock it up. So £43.99 and I've got a selection of, of bars, we've got various different Plant 20 protein bars, so that one is cookie dough flavour, cookie dough flavour, protein bar again, triple chocolate brownie flavour, triple chocolate brownie flavour and then two dark chocolate and raspberry flavour bars and that so I thought that was quite reasonable now the only thing is I didn't bother checking beforehand the ingredients on these things can I have them they're meant to be vegan okay so strictly speaking if I fully believe my allergies I shouldn't have these because they've got almond in or almond paste. Now have I got a cliff bar handy? I do eat the white macadamia nut um, cliff bars. Obviously white chocolate, milk based. I shouldn't have these but I eat these and I'm sort of okay with them. Yeah, you see those are more okay, so I'll try these and see how I get on. Um, I'll take them on Sunday. Now, let's see with this. I did check, I did check the powder. I am okay with the powder. So that's, that's fine. It's just the um, almond in that, so I'll let you know how I'll get on. Before I go, this is 30. 30 gram servings, so that's a 30 gram serving. Rigo is a 50 gram serving, so this is a 900 gram tub, 30 servings. Rigo is a 1.6 kilogram tub, 32 servings. Looking at the SIS website, that alone is cheaper per serving than that. That's why I decided to try that, so thanks for watching, see you in the next vlog.